Joel Embiid, he's going to have to figure out a way, ways to get easier points. Like, he's working too hard. Like, when you got a guy 6'3 on you, why do you want to take four or five dribbles? Mm -hmm. Go down, one, two dribbles, jump hook him to death. If they double, kick it out to Tobias or, or Maxi. But it's not, I understand this is the new way you play, but I think he's working way too hard to get those points. 65 53 is your halftime score. Cleveland shooting 59% in the first half. Uh, in our pregame show, we talked about uh, the guy who has the keys now that the beard is gone. And that would be that's Tyrese unfair. Maxey. And here's well, the step. Watch the step, Chuck. Hey, man. That's unfair. That's hey, unfair. Man. Uh, uh, I, I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't want to hurt him. <laughs> Why did you put it there, then? I didn't want to hurt him. I, I, I yeah. told you about the fall. Man, Why did you put it there? Man, 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 I was going to say, team, Chuck. I was going to say, watch man, the step. I was going to say, watch yeah. the step. Why would you put that there if I could hurt myself? I didn't want to hurt you, man. I didn't want to hurt you. Hey, I didn't he did want to hurt me, but he put it there. Yeah. I didn't think you, I thought you would see it, and then I noticed you didn't see, see it. Okay. So I didn't want uh, you to fall. Shaq won. Anyway. No, Shaq didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but but we're to, I, I didn't want to hurt him. But we're talking about Tyrese Maxey, and what makes him so great is now we talked about, hey, the ball is in his hand, freeze it here. It's not the fact that the ball is just in his hand. I told you before the halftime, I saw him on his third workout at noon. At noon was his third workout in the summertime. So here he is. He's got all aspects of the game. He can get into the paint and he has the floater game. He doesn't have to always pull up a three or the step back three. So now he drives by you. But then you play off him. You go under the, you can't go under the screen because here's Joel Embiid. So now you get nervous about Joel. You get over the screen. He steps back and now he, he has you again on the same dribble handoff and now you're wide open. Knock him down. Boom. But the last part that is underrated now, so freeze it here. So now that he's been warming up, Watch where Porter Jr. is. This, this is supposed to be a help position. Freeze it again. The help position in basketball is here. You can never help from the corner shooter because the three is too short. So now Tobias Harris gets to play one-on-one, -on -one, gets fouled. So the fact that you can't help off the help position anymore with Tyrese Maxey makes him really, really dangerous. A couple things. Put in that work, Tyrese. Congrats. I told you, to me, this Cavaliers team... They got, in my opinion, the most talent in the Eastern Conference out of the, out of the top three teams. Uh, obviously, Boston, Milwaukee, and Philly are the top three teams. But if you look, they got two guards that are all-stars. I love Jared Allen. Levert can score with anybody. Struess is going to help them. I would love to see them get healthy. Shaq, you had a great point on Joel Embiid. Man, he works too hard against those little guys. He could get a lot more easier basket if he posts up instead of floating. average 50 if he got easier. It, it, no, yeah, but it's, it's not the average. It's how you get the points. Okay. Because what happened is if he would – they're not even doubling him when he's playing out there with those little, little munchkins. But this is, to me, I don't like this Philadelphia team this game tonight. You're playing against an inferior team. Even if you win the game, you're going to use so much energy to come back and win the game. And – It'll affect you the next game and the next game. So when you play, I tell guys, yo, if you got a team, you don't give them no co any confidence because they got NBA players too. If you screw around and it's a go down to the wire, that other team can make some shots. But this is Sixers are just pound this little team and get it over with. But not now. They got a dog fight. Cavs got the lead by a dozen. Meantime, <laughs> looking to see what Atlanta did in the first half. They scored 86 against no way. Indiana. The Pacers, if they win tonight, they win the group. But they're losing. Pacers ain't going to win. 86 How in the world can you give up 90 points and a half? Well, they got 86. 73 going against that. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're still in the game. They're the only team to score. 86 in the first half going into tonight, and now they're the only team that's allowed 86. Yeah, that's, that's, that's as ridiculous. The Hawks have no, no team is the Hawks. The 86. Hawks uh, love my man down there, Andrew, but the Hawks are not good enough to get 90 points and a half. Andrew, well, yeah. they did it. Andrew Salzman. Andrew Salzman. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what he he did. I know Andrew Salzman. But he well, he knew I was talking to him. Well, well, just did it. No, 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 how about good. all the people out there? No, the, hey, nobody. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. You're right, Mr. No. Hawk. <laughs> Kenny, you're going to hurt me one day. No, but see, that, I saw him, and I, didn't, I, I was oh, like, no. Kenny, if I had a fail, it would have been funny. It would have been funny. No, the beat you would let you do it. I could not. The victory.